Fire three tyre Simmons, a uh, Robbie Marshall of 10789. So at this point in time, Ty Simmons has got that one lap pace on lock, and he is on the hunt for a thousand bucks. He is the fastest of the weekend so far. So as we see, the number 27 of Ivan Long negotiating the super cross section. That's right, Jim. Ivan Long. Oh, sits him down on oh, that one, going loopy do. We get to the freestyle action happening. Anyway, we've got him back on two wheels, which is good to see, because this kid is putting together a very fast run. Straight through those uh, log woods, Cam. This guy's looking very smooth right now. As you expect from Ivan Long, he's a very, very talented rider. Done very well. Second overall in the thing a few times, Australian Off-Road Championship as a full privateer. Oh! Hold on to him, Ivan! Come on, South Australia! Come on, Emily! Put your hands together for him! Well, it's looking like a 108, which is again a very strong time. May not be quite as fast as Ty Simmons. That's not the official time, mind you, but it is going to be very, very. Eyes on our number 222, Jacob Smith from Smith Brothers Racing on the Honda. Here he goes up and over the sewer pipes, Cam. The Condoblin Conan, the Cannonball, I should say. Jacob Smith, 2011 Dakar finisher. Won a junior motocross championship. Won the Condo 750 about 600 times. This guy can genuinely ride a dirt bike, triple two. Think, uh, I think 2012 or 2013, he was second place to his older younger brother, Todd Smith. So these guys, they run rich. His brother Todd did very, very well this year at Dakar. And now we're seeing him with triple two. Jacob Smith doing a very, very good time. And I would say he's almost on tight. Simmons space at the moment. Jacob Smith looking very, very good. He is going to be close on tight's tail. I can tell you that for sure. Tripling there from the tabletop now. And as he go on the inside line there on the Telstra Cotton Reels. So he's uh, made a couple of uh, seconds up there, I would say, as well. Now it's our final rhythm section before the final turn. And he is right on pace here. Let's have a look at uh, Tim KDM manager Glenn Kearney's time. And that's a 1.09, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen, let's put our hands together for Jacob Smith. Now, I must say that is the unofficial time, 109, but our attention now turned to the Penrite Honda rider of uh, Peter Boyle, Peter Boyle the ginger eight. ninja. Come and check out his beard, ladies and gentlemen. That would inspire the best of us. Here he goes now, up and over the sewer pipes, Cam. What can we expect from this man? Probably not the man crush you've got him, that's for sure. Triple two, Jacob Smith was officially a 109, triple six. We're seeing people do very, very well now. I think in New South Wales, Brock spends a lot of time working on his um, on his father's farm. He dribbles through that section there, looking very good, very relaxed from that stadium cross section. And very good at the moment as we get over this great big lock. Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing whether or not he can't really give some of these American gods a good nudge. He certainly did in the second race that we had here today, leading the charge for quite a while. First couple of laps before the American boys managed to peg him back a couple. A nice triple attempt there, and he managed to make that smooth as silk as he makes his way around that second last berm into the cotton reels now. And the final technical section of the course here at the New Holland Super Enduro Cross, powered by Monster Energy. All right, Just well, about to get job done now for Penrite Honda, Peter Boyle. Solid lap there for Peter Boyle, looks pretty good. Well, we've got an unconfirmed 108 time. Now as we turn our attention to Dylan Reese, ladies and gentlemen, no number on the back. He's making his way through that cartridge drop log box now, and you can see this guy here has got plenty of experience with trials. He made mince meat of that, and that is a testament to his 30 years of riding trials before becoming an enduro cross convert. Quick one here, Ty Simmons, you managed to sneak up here, mate. Leading so far at 10395. It was a thousand bucks that got it, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it is. It was uh, the best of still yet to come, so. Um Hopefully it stands, but uh, yeah, these American boys are going to be on the gas. Can you hold that quite a pace for about six months? Yeah, about that, but uh, we'll give it a shot and um, see how we go, mate. She's, she's technical, she's hard, and uh, yeah, we're definitely blowing for sure, so this final's going to be hard. Stay out of the bakery, bro. It's Cy Simmons, ladies and gentlemen, the number 42. We'll keep an eye on him as... Andy Dillon Reese is getting around, he's about to wrap up his lap. Absolutely, uh, great insights from Ty Simmons, thank you Cam, but it is all Dylan Reese right now as he makes his way through this final technical section of the course, up and over the logs in the final sewer pipe now. He's going to double, and just hanging on to that one there, getting yeah, all right, on the long for us. It's uh, the spirit of Wild Wally Palmer is still with us. Yeah, the spirit of Wild Wally Palmer is actually with us, and Dylan Reese there. Alright, well here it is now.
now number seven Whippin. He is making his way through the first straight without any dramas whatsoever. Through the chop log box as well, doubling the sewer pipes. Single, single, nice big bucky do over the big one. And straight through the rock garden without any dramas at all, Ken. Through that little sand section there, this guy is super quick, Kyle Redmond. He runs the US and Giro Cross Series. He's very, very familiar. Formidable character, triples into the corner there, Kyle Redman. He is on a tear, up and over that great big part to double. Hard right now, pass the under section, up and over that nice big single. Next band to go, Shane Boyd, but this is going to be very strong here from Kyle Redman. He's been on the podium twice so far this weekend with a win. Well, he's got one win in the bag. Is he going to make it two here? There's a nice triple there, and then just managing to scrub over the top of that final lip before he makes his way into those Telstra reels. Nice big jump out of the uh, blocks there from the uh, number seven rider as he makes his way around the tight line. We're going to see whether or not he can't beat Ty Simmons with a time of 1.02. That's unofficial, but it looks like he has now taken top spot, ladies and gentlemen, as we turn our attention to the Aussie, Shane Boyd. Now, I must make a public service announcement and apologise for not announcing Shane as he made his way around the circumference of the track at the start. I take personal responsibility for that, but hey, he's That's a man it, that needs... Yeah. You got on your sack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shane Boyd, give you guys, ladies and gentlemen, a quick update there. Mile Resman, official time so far, 102.943. He is your fastest qualifier to date as Aussie legend and supercross hero here. Number four, Shane Boyd, he is after the Gorilla on offer. Well, here we go. Let's go. We're not going to see a great deal of that here today at the Enduro Supercross. He wants to just get through this track safely. And here he goes up on his back wheel, making his way through those log works. You can see just manhandling that machine through the first corner into the triple, scrubbing the tabletop. Oh, well, getting a Mike Brown very excited here is Shaq Boyd now. Up and over that final sewer pipe. He's got to double that final rhythm section. And then scrubbing over the top of the monster truck tyres, the checker flag is out, and the time we're looking at here, Bank Benny, is 1.05. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for it. <laughs> All right, well, the man Mike Brown now, number three. Here he goes, off and racing, and the clock has started. Let's see what he can do here. Again, that chop log box, uh, just, uh, I guess, uh, almost inconsequential now. These guys have got it worked out as Mike Brown now makes his way through that rock garden, through the initial sand pit, and then the sand pit burn. So he has got a quick time already. Here he goes now, scrubbing that tabletop. Are we going to get a triple out of him here? Looks like we will. So come on, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for our American brother who makes his way down that northern end of the track and into the west end side, the pavilion side, technical side of the track. Now almost coming up, stuck there before he makes his way up and over the tyre doubles, and we're just starting to see Mike get just a little bit sloppy, not something that we're used to seeing. Well, again now that final corner before the technical section, uh, the remaining technical